Hi, everybody. A lovely day for football here. Welcome to you. Putting on the gantry, I can assure you, between Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler. The action is league football today. Absolutely looking forward to this one. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to this. We've got some really good players out there, and importantly, we've got some match winners, some goal scorers down on that pitch. And I don't think we'll be disappointed. One side with bags of goals, the highest scoring side in the division, and the other team with the worst defence. So it should be clear cut here, but the joy of football is it rarely pans out that way. We might get a surprise. But, you know, the visitors have certainly got to do better than they have been the last few games away from home. They've been awful. Well, this is how the home team shape up. It's a real group mentality in this lineup about pressing the opposition into making mistakes and cashing in on it straight away. Well, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of motivation. It's easy to drop off. And when you do drop off that really aggressive closing down, that's when it can fall down. The lineup for the away side, probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required i think so if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Read the play well to intercept. Encouraging play from this team now, keeping the ball. Can go in from here. Well, that stopped him in his tracks because he's given offside. There's plenty of space in behind to run into as well. Oh, just hold it a fraction, hold it and you'll be through. An incisive pass, not able to take full advantage of a good position. Based to cross the ball now. Keeper's ball, no question about that. It's a weak cross, really. It's become a rather defensive policy here for the team that's camped really in its own half at the moment. And that does let the opposition have free possession. They can really come at you, it's risky. Nothing wrong with the industry of the team. That little bit of inspiration lacking, but they need to get their noses in front. Oh, time to get the cross now. Can't keep the ball at the moment. Anderson. Good position for the cross. They've defended with great organisation to get possession back after being under pressure for some time. The fans here recognising that their team is really dangerous as a rule from corners. Can they make something of this?
Corner played in. Good defensive clearance there. One or two players arriving in the middle. Anderson. With his skill, here's a chance to have a run at goal and take the opposition on. And the defender has blocked the cross, and he's done it well. Anderson. Trying to find an opportunity. The hosts have controlled possession here so far. I think they'll feel disappointed by their own performance so far. Certainly the manager down there is quite animated, trying to get them going, trying to push them on. Taking on a couple of opponents now. And they're keeping the ball, that's the important thing. Anderson. Nice bit of interplay between these two. To build up his patient. He's seen that room is on the inside. No real trouble for the goalkeeper. <laughs> Referee has blown and he's given the free kick. And the time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. Carlson. Must take the lead here, which they do in good style. Uh, they played some good football leading up to that, Martin, and thoroughly deserved that goal. It's been a bit of a slow burner, this uh, match, but I think they deserve this goal, and it certainly changes the half-time team talks. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Not a very active way of playing this for the defending team because they're not going out and closing the opposition. They're just saying, well, you can have the ball. Well, the referee has signaled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. One of the players that we really thought at the start of the game would be the sort of guy we're talking at the end for the right reasons, but we might not uh, mention him in uh, a positive way, the way he's played today. The opposition must be absolutely delighted. They'll be hoping to restrict him to as few touches as he's seen so far. Whistle from the referee. And we're off and running again for the second half. Interception here. Anderson, good interception. Anderson. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. And it's out of play. With good vision. That was whipped into a good area, but no one could get there to convert the opportunity. The hosts had more than enough of the ball today, but you can see the manager down there is less than happy. Obviously, his team's losing, that's bad enough, but 
no real sign so far that they're going to get back into this because they're just not able to find a way through that defence and make the keeper work. Eriksson. Well, we're two-thirds of the way through the 90 minutes, half an hour to go. Oh, they thought they were in, but the flag has gone up. Well, now they're behind. They've got to try and switch things around. And here comes a substitution. Winning the ball back with the interception might lead to a break for them. Substitute coming up for the away team. Just a bit lax in possession. Looking for a through ball. He's intercepted at just the right time for his team. Just a quick check on the clock and there are 20 minutes to go. Oh, listen to the atmosphere in here. The fans certainly doing the bit to spur their team on for an equaliser. Not a turnover in play here with that interception. He's had a go here. Saved, but not decisively. Well, now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? Patiently passing the ball around, trying to make a chance. Saw the goal and went for it. Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. Very impressive, the support for this team. Funny, the team could be quite so impressive themselves. Yeah, they're doing their bit, the supporters, they really are. So, just wonder whether it can transfer onto those players down on the pitch. And shoots! Wonderful save. Had to really reach out for that. So it's a corner. And one more chance, maybe. And in it goes. Goalkeeper has to go and uh, get the ball for the goal kick. Alan, we've both been around long enough to know the bad days with the fans. Happily, they are long gone. And this kind of support, well, it just warms your heart. Yeah, and it's always a pleasure to come to this ground because you know that the fans will be up for it. They'll be right behind their team, making plenty of noise. There's still time for a late twist here. Five minutes to go now, and the margin just one. The hosts imposing their authority last 15 in terms of possession. And they know time is running out. I think we're going to see more and more direct balls played into the box as they search for this equaliser. Clock's ticking down. Well, he's a long way out here, Martin. I can't believe he's going to actually try and shoot. Amazing save at full stretch. Well, that looked a certain goal. Can't believe he's kept it out. And the keeper has kept it out. Yeah, I think he might have seen that late as well, so good hands. Oh, the goalkeeper's kept it out, Alan. Well, it was a powerfully struck shot and top marks to the keeper there. Put the corner in the middle. Put away, but not out of harm's way.
Well, here they come again. It might be their last chance here to get something from the game. Cleared away by the defender. Well, that's it. The final whistle. I think we thought that this team would be brushed aside. They proved those thoughts to be very misguided. Well, I think they'll get a real pat on the back from their manager because they gave it their all. Didn't leave anything out on the pitch there today.